right, so I'm sitting here with Ed's attention to detail. Hey and we both went to the first annual YouTube reunion, no, YouTube family reunion in Pryor, Oklahoma. And boy, that was a mouthful of a title for the, the meetup. But uh, I think some people were just calling it the Pryor reunion or the Pryor meetup. And most of the people had checked into the Pryor Hotel or what's it? No, it was called Hotel Pryor because it's Pryor. HP. Yeah. And those of us who, you know, wanted to party and leave, we stayed at other hotels that were close by. Okay, so tell me about your experience there. Tell me, tell me some of the people you met or tell me, uh, tell them some of the stuff going on. Well, some of the standouts that were there, at least in my mind, um, met Kenfolk Farm, Shane. Uh, I mean, just known about his channel for a long time, you know, followed him, I guess is follow the right word, I don't know, but uh, been subscribed to him and uh, watched videos and whatnot. And uh, just to meet him in person, I mean, Shane is really down to earth and uh, he kept saying how much him and I were alike. And I don't know, I didn't really believe it at first, but I guess the more we interacted- Because you're both Georgia boys. Yeah, well, um, but anyway, so that was really cool to meet uh, can folk farm out of out of Georgia and I know I'm gonna leave some folks out so please don't uh, get upset with me on this um, I met uh, Morris patch of heaven uh, and that that was kind of embarrassing because I had just finished talking uh, with somebody else because I had gotten a message that uh, Wendy from hard Knack farms was gonna be out there that day and uh, so when Joyce walked up from Morris patch of heaven and uh, I'm like, oh, hey, Wendy, and of course, you know, stuck my foot all the way down my throat, pretty much. But um, it's it's very hard when you got all these channels. <laughs> you you follow like two thousand channels, and so you see two thousand, two thousand, two hundred people, and yeah. faces and names and channels all get mixed up and blurred in there sometimes when everybody is standing right there in front of you. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, um, you know, met. Uh, Pretty much all the Crockers, Jason Crocker, Mom Pop Crocker, um, and like I said, I know I'm going to leave some folks out, and I'm not intended to do that. But uh, just like I said there was just I think they said 160 channels was represented at the meetup, and there was over 500 people that were there on Saturday, and uh, it was just it was a blast. I mean, meeting and hanging out. Some of the folks that we met. Um, live right up the road from us you know within an hour's drive yeah and uh, we have never been able to uh, get our schedules together and meet each other so you know meeting them at the uh, the meetup in Oklahoma was kind of neat um, Evans family homestead we finally got to meet southern blessed homestead yeah. with Mac and Patty in fact Mac and Patty uh, they won the tiller that we had yeah raffled off, that, that's that's pretty cool you know and uh it, it looked like he was real happy to, to, to win that. I hope. I hope it. Uh, I hope he was. I hope that he can actually use it for something. Um, or if you can't, I mean, you can always, you know, give it away. You know, it's yours. You do what you want to do. Yeah. So, uh, but I mean, so we gave the tiller away. We gave away a uh, hundred dollar worth of. $25 gift card, so we gave away four gift cards. Uh, Ken Folk we Farm of Georgia won that. Yep, he won one of those. And uh, was it, I forget the, the channel name, and that's that's what I'm, I'm really hard about. Uh, Hulu or? Mahalo. Ma, ma, okay, so anyway, but. Uh, it's the Halo channel. <laughs> yeah, and, and. Their and, name gets so mispronounced. It's actually hilarious. Well, the funny part about it was when uh, she had come over and signed up, she says, I know this is the winning number. And she actually kissed it, kissed the number before she folded it up and put it in the bucket. And so when the number was drawn, it, that had, was the, so crazy. it had her lipstick mark on the number. <laughs> I'm like, I know exactly who that was. So uh, that, that was really neat. Um, but like I said, just, you know, meeting, uh, Robertson's, uh, Robertson belly acres. Belly acres um, you guys just... are quite the, the characters. Uh, well, first of all, I went around to some of the tables in the tent while Ed sat and kind of, you know, hung on to the, the tables where all the drawings were happening that we had. And I went around the tables that were around us and Robertson's belly acres, um, had had this big, tamale showdown or whatever that they I mean everybody seemed to be eating their tamales except me 
So I went over there and I was gonna, you know, get something from the table and he's like, hey, you know, put something in there for you. And she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> so. Because <he's>, Ernie <laughs> would have put something probably not so good or embarrassing or whatever in there. So yeah. I got back over to our table and I looked at it and I was like, they put a tamale in my bag. So, um, a real tamale, that's not yes. like an antidote for anything. <laughs> You're right. So, yeah, and uh, of course, later they were going um, to uh, the, the store that was by the um, hotel prior, and they were like, Hey, anybody need anything? And I was like, Well, dirt's on sale, yeah, give me some dirt. And every time we go to Walmart, every time we go to Walmart, it I was gotta, on we, sale, we're buying dirt, yeah, we just. Anyway, but I didn't think anything about it because you know, it's it's like I thought they were just making small talk You know what happened when they came back? She thought they, she was joking. Yeah, they they dumped a bag of dirt in my hand <laughs> Here's your dirt. Here's your beer and Here, you know, yeah. yeah, so yeah, they went and bought, bought dirt and beer and uh, anyway, so um, so we're sitting out there in our camp chairs and you know Everybody's partying and having a good time and Ernie's got a bag of dirt I know. <laughs> so. uh, well, it made a nice cushion later in my chair, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was definitely funny because they took her literal for what she said. Yeah, Robertson's belly acres got to say, you got me. So. You got me. Hey, guys. So, uh, anyhow, uh, let's see some other folks that we had met at, at the uh, at the meetup. Um, Ed's crazy homestead. Uh, it was really or good. Or Crazy Ed's Homestead. Well, I know there were, there were some people by the end of the meetup that was just calling it Crazy Ed's Homestead, but I, I think that's He backwards. went live for like 11 hours that, yeah. that day. I mean, he would even just sit his tripod down and somebody else would snatch his camera and just walk around. And um, so a lot of you guys hung out with him the whole day. There was at least always 60 something people in his live stream. And I think at one time he had 200. So yeah, uh, I would switch that Ed's Crazy Homestead to Crazy Ed's Homestead. He could talk a long time. But it was yeah. very nice meeting him because, you know, we see him a lot in everybody's comments, including ours. And, and you know, his, his videos are, are they're diverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll say that. <laughs> so, but uh, so anyway, we got to meet uh, Ed, and uh, of course I, I I can't forget to mention um, Tony from Our Cabin in the Woods. Tony and his wife. Uh, Tony's wife is always hidden. He, you know what? She, she is so beautiful in spirit, and and of course her. I mean, she's she's pretty. And Tony, I don't know how you did it, but you better not ever. She is, she was very pretty. <laughs> And that's uh, why he hides And that's why her. I told Tony, I says I said, Man, if you put her in your videos, your ratings her, will skyrocket. Her and Willow together. But, they they would just skyrocket yeah. our cabin in the woods. And Willow <laughs> Willow is, is his husky and uh they, they don't hardly go anywhere without Willow and uh That's why so, she's in every single video. Yeah. But they brought Willow to the uh to the meetup and very well behaved dog. Uh, she very, was such a sweetheart. Yeah. So. Well, she didn't come to the, the, the church meetup part, but she was present at the hotels yeah. and the after parties for each each day. And those after parties got, got pretty wild. I even went to bed before the wild, wild stuff started. But, yeah, apparently I there was... wild, was, wild, but... Yeah, I, I saw some videos of things that happened while I was drooling on my pillow. But uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll let you guys go find those videos. I saw that there was a, a video in a pool um, at the hotel prior later. Um, yeah, I saw some other stuff that I'm um, not sure people, you know, missed either. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys find those videos on other people's channels. Um, we have a list of channels that had signed up for channels and viewers because there was just there were people who called themselves just fans and I got to say if you people who who discount yourself so much to say well I'm just a subscriber you're not just a subscriber like Corey and Cynthia you watch everybody you know oh oh you know who else we met Auntie Ann the moderator extraordinaire yep yes 
You're and larger than life. She bought us dinner. And that that was pretty amazing. To put faces uh, w with some, I mean, you, you know their face because you see them on video just like you guys. Y'all know our face because you're looking at us on video. But to meet in person is just, you know. Like it, it Brandon 1900 it. Homestead. Yeah, yeah, it just takes it to the next level. And it was really, really uh, inspiring. Um, so... I had a great time. Uh, like I said, I know that I'm leaving out a lot of uh, a lot of names here. I got because... to hug Lazy Pond Farm. Yeah, he Kevin. was there. Yeah. So uh, and she got a couple of photos with him. Um, and I'll be well, that's remiss she, to she mention. She dragged me over yeah, there and said, "Hey, yeah. take a photo." But anyway. Yes, yes, I, yes, I did. And, and Kevin had jet lag, and you guys saw him puking on Ridge Life's live stream when they were eating that disgusting food the, the jerky later on but um yeah he was such a sweetheart i don't care what they say about you kevin you're sweet in my book the wendy hardnack was just a doll wendy so, i mean I, I i think i even told her at one point i said i just want to put you in my take-home bag and take <laughs> you back home with me um she said her husband wouldn't really uh, appreciate that. And I, I guess oh, I happy can, anniversary, uh, Wendy. Absolutely. Um, I, I'm going to eventually say it 11 times. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, her and her husband, 11 years, and I think uh, she said, was it Sunday was their anniversary or mm -hmm. was it Friday? Okay, I don't, it was Sunday. Uh, I don't remember now, but I think it was Friday. Uh, well, I know somebody had a birthday mm -hmm. on Friday. Mm -hmm. What was her name? Um, I don't know, but we said happy birthday. Yeah, anyway, well, we, we sang happy birthday out at, out at the reunion to, uh, oh, goodness. Like I said, the names and everything. I, I, I can see the face, and but I, I can't remember the name of the channel right now. But uh, Also, um, it was something chaos. Uh, Utter Chaos Hobby Farm? Uh, wasn't it her mom? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was Omi's yeah, birthday. Omi. I think she there was the big eight zero. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah, she had a birthday there. Um, Omi, you're quite the gal. It, it was it was really, really cool to meet everybody. Um, the uh, the two old people on a couch. Y'all. <laughs> they hit a thousand while they were there. I'm so happy for them. And I love that little dancing shuffle thing. I'm still watching you guys' videos because they're uploading them, I think, every, one every day, like part one, part two, part three. I'm, yeah. I'm getting really excited about that. Oh, I'm, you know I'm hitting that playlist for you guys. So, yeah, um, anyway, so you guys go over and check them out. Uh, and, and, and we're, we're there. We're, we're dancing on the couch. And uh, you can go over and figure out what I'm talking about from there. Mm -hmm. so. That was the shuffle, the shuffle <laughs> they had been talking about for weeks. Yeah. Um, and it really sounded weird over breakfast. They're like, we need to get y'all on the couch. <laughs> 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 so, but uh, anyway, like I said, we, uh, we, we had a great time. Um, we left here in Arkansas. We left Friday morning. And uh, the trip over wasn't too terrible. Uh, we ran into some rain. It wasn't, you know real bad but um i had to slow down a little bit because I, I knew that you know we probably need to put tires on our car within the next i don't know six months or so and, i think uh, you've now told everybody so, yeah um so so you know kind of took it easy while it was raining and uh like i said got there about i don't know one o'clock and uh, we went over to hotel prior the and... first three people that we met of course kinfolk farm of georgia he was getting everybody as they were coming out so he was out there and shane was going yeah. of course we learned later shane had a headache you would have never known it no. that man is just as real as 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 could possibly be and then we met of course you know it's crazy homestead he was also out there and then Cheryl. sherry huh huh yeah sherry <laughs> Sherry, he didn't mean to from, call from, you Cheryl. From Apricot Tiny House. The Apricot Tiny House. And you know what? She had been saying, hey, Cupcake, in, in her comments to me. And I was like, you know what? You call me Cupcake so much, you better bring me some cupcakes. You know she did. that she did. she did. She did. And and they were good. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the cookies, too. I, I don't know if I was supposed to eat the cupcakes because, <laughs> you know, they were brought for her. But they were good. So... <laughs> So yeah, I gotta give a thank you. Um, and there were so many people that, that came up to me. Um, Lynn Oakey, 
Um, definitely a, a memorable meeting because, I mean, I see a lot of people met Lynn because she made her rounds. I saw her, I mean, she might be in just about everybody's video. So um, there, there are some smaller channels that, that, that came and, and one guy started his channel that day. And he was like, you know, this is pretty cool. I can't believe that, that I hadn't done this sooner. So um, I wish I could remember his name right now. I'm going to uh, some kind of fishing and catting and something, catting and bass, and I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was catting and bass. And um, anyway, I remember part uh, catting and bass, and that's part of the title. That's, yeah, it's not yeah. the whole title. <laughs> but uh, you, you might be able to find it by looking up catting and bass. And there was another really interesting channel that I hadn't seen uh, very much of, and he had, uh, I think, nine subscribers whenever we met him. And uh, a lot of people kind of walked by his table because I don't know if they thought he was selling his app or whatever it was. It's called 360 Faves, and it's spelled F-A-V-S, 360-F-A-V-S, and it's all like one bunch. And it's basically this app. That, and I'm not like getting paid to say I'm just saying the, the guy has a, a pretty brilliant mind and you might want to check him out but um, you know how when you sign up for YouTube and you don't get all your notifications for a channel or whatever well it could actually be just YouTube URLs for channels that you really like and don't want to miss and you can just add them to his app and it's downloadable for um, the iPhones like for Macs and for um, Android so you ought to check that out you can also find him at 360faves.com but uh, I'm just saying that the guy's got a brilliant mind and I think he was one of the most un um, I'm, I'm unsung sung. it's a good one yeah he was definitely um, underrated out there and yeah. I, I think that he had a really good um, product idea I couldn't remember his name. He only said it once. He's the 360 Faves guy. That's how unsung he was. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't but, have a name. But he came over and he talked to us briefly uh, while we were doing the raffle. And, uh, yeah, really, really nice guy. Um, just, you know, there were so many other people and channels, and we were trying to do the raffle. And my attention was uh, kind of focused more on getting people signed up for the raffle. Then, then and going Ed is visiting. going to find all those channels that, that have channels that left their channel names. And if he's not yep. already subscribed, he's going to find them. I've already looked at the list, and there were a few names that I didn't have. So if I don't have you yet, I'm going to look too. But um, those of you who put your phone numbers on them, rest easy. We're not sending nudes. Um, we're just, <laughs> once we get the names, we're going to, like, shred, you know, that stuff. So to make sure nobody else gets your phone numbers too. Yeah, we're going to do that. You're not going to send nudes. This is a first. Make sure you guys mark that down, okay? Because, uh, yeah, most, most <laughs> No people, names on the bathroom wall either. Most, most people get, get uh, anyway, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go through, and this is probably going to be over the next week or two, um, go through that list of all the channels. That it was had quite a long up. list. We had 102 uh, people sign up for the giveaway out of 160 channels that was there, so... Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go back and like I said, or like she said. So, but it, it was a great time. Really enjoyed it. Uh, Friday after we got there, like I said, it was the prior prior party. Um, and uh, we hung out and went to dinner and uh, just, uh, you know, meeting and greeting everybody. And then, of course, Saturday at the actual meetup, uh, it was from 3 to 9. And it was raining and you know we were outside underneath a, a big kind of circus tent uh looking but um e even that the ground was wet and people walking on it and it just kind of turned muddy in places and yeah it know. looked like a leech field but i mean people yeah. were still out there and having fun so i mean other than the rain mm -hmm. I, I think it was super you know just really had a blast and uh, of course, the rain quit about uh, I don't know one, two o'clock. Yeah, an hour and, or so before the end of it. Yep. And, and so the uh, the after party at the Prior Hotel on Saturday evening, um, which we did go over and hang out with some folks. Uh, I don't know. We were there for maybe an hour. Let this truck go by. That right there is probably going to be pretty loud on the video. 
but uh, so we went over and we hung out uh, at the prior hotel after the meetup and uh, you know just set up our camp chairs underneath you know how how the hotels have the uh, the awning out front and you'll drive up and go in and register yeah we just set camp chairs all up underneath the awning and every block the driveway and yeah it, it was it was really <laughs> kind of cool um, it yeah. looks like a family reunion. Everybody was just out there hanging out and talking. and A couple people slowed down as they drove by and they were like, what in the world is going on over there? Yeah. But nobody called the coppers. Not that I know of, anyway. <laughs> so, But anyway, we really had a great time. Uh, you know, and, and when you go somewhere and you, ha and you enjoy your, yourself, you know, it's hard to leave. So, uh, it was yeah. easier, you know, once we got hungry. Yeah. <laughs> so, but um, really looking forward to uh, the possibility of doing this again in the future. And some of you who, who don't live very far, which, you know, we found out that um, Anne Marie from Big Dreams Homestead uh, doesn't live very far. Um, we found out that um, Sherry, the Apricot Tiny House, is about to not live very far. Um, uh, it's crazy. Homestead is about to not live very far. What is uh, shoot. simple life Stone. reclaimed doesn't live very far. Stone, yeah. little Stone, Stone, Stone Cabin, Stone Adventures. cabin. Stone cabin yeah. Adventures. Yeah, Stone Cabin Stone Adventures. Yeah, yeah, Stone Cabin Adventures. Stone Cabin Adventures, which uh, we actually won uh, one of the raffles that they had provided. It was a flashlight and a uh, kind of like a hot mitt for the stove, hot mitt towel combination. So. But uh, yeah, we won one of the door prizes that they had donated. So, but yeah, there's there's a lot of channels that are um, within a couple hours drive of here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, who knows? Maybe we can uh, all try and get together at some point and, and hang out. You know, without having the big family reunion. I don't know. Um, oh, and let me tell you about all the wardrobe changes that Lila Newton had. I mean, she was wearing everybody's shirt. Everybody who had a shirt that had given it to her that she had bought, and I'm telling you, she, she was wearing a shirt every hour. And every time you look for her and somebody was like, hey, have you seen Lila Newton? And you're like, yeah, she's wearing a so-and-so shirt. Nope, by the time they found her, she was <laughs> wearing somebody else's shirt. Yeah. So, yeah, she made her rounds also. And, uh... Let's see, Doug and Shelly from His Way Homestead and from uh, uh, Healthy, Healthy Homestead, Homestead Chick. Chick. Yeah. Um, they were there, and of course the thing that I remember about that is uh, Rusty from... Uh, Robertson Belly Acres. Right, Rusty from Robinson Belly Acres. At one point I looked over and he had the uh, Healthy Homestead Chick uh, oh my Lord. kind of... Uh, well, right. it was a t-shirt. <laughs> no, it was it was like a tank top. Tank top, kind of, yeah. yeah. But uh, so he was sporting that around, and of course, you know, I made a little fun of him about it, but uh, he took it well. Um, but yeah, it was just a, a really, really good time. So, um, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to the in between meetups before the next one happens. And while we're talking about this meetup, um, there was a channel um, that, you know, um, I believe it's Joy Blessed Life. And I believe, um, believe let's see, Angel the Husky. That sounds um, like one of those uh, comedian shows. I believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Wheeler, the storyteller. Uh, I wish I could remember the first part of that because I forgot your name and I'm afraid to call you somebody else's name. So Might as well. I have. Okay. Um, I did it in front of the whole world. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, Wendy. you did. Live TV. Yeah, live TV. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, they brought up an interesting point, and I'm just going to throw it out there in case, you know, you guys looked at the videos and were like, where's all the black people? Yeah, I, I went there. Um, he brought up an interesting point about the, 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 the lack of diversity there. And while I understand that a lot of people weren't talking about it until like two or three days, and then all of a sudden everybody's channel was like, hey, we're about to go to Pryor or whatever. But um, a lot of people didn't know about it. Yeah. And so there was a lack of, you know, brown people and, you know, people who were a little more melan <laughs> melanated. <laughs> 
so uh, I'm just going to throw this out there that some of these circles that haven't, you know, connected just yet and started overlapping, I'm really hoping that by next year, there will be more people that looked like me and not because I felt like I was like, you know, some castaway because y'all, I had a blast. But uh, I'm just saying that it's open to everybody, not just, you know, people who like the crockers or people who, you know, are more Anglo <laughs> or Caucasian. It's for everybody. So, so just so, throwing that out there. And to kind of mellow that point out, um, there, <laughs> there were, it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, you're talking about melanin, diesel melon heads or whatever. Um, <laughs> melon heads. That's actually <laughs> so, kind of funny. I'm going to so, have a shirt. We're the melon heads. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but the, the circle that, that I'm in, I mean, my, my channel kind of overlaps into homesteading and model building and And, a, a and that's others. a beautiful yeah. connection because most people will not jump from homesteading to models. There's got to be a few links in between, yeah. but it's really not. His channel is a beautiful blend of the two. And I paid her to say that. So, um, anyway, what I was going to say, my point to that was that uh, you know there weren't a whole lot of modelers. Actually, I don't think there was. Any, I don't think any there were any that, that that showed up to the to the reunion. And I'm hoping that maybe the next time that that we'll get some of that overlap. So it's not just about race and diversity in that that respect. That's right. But, there, you know, it's this across community. It's lines a family well. reunion, not just a homesteaders reunion. Yeah. So, you know, we, we really, like I said, we had a blast. Mm -hmm. um, it was a lot of fun and just meeting everybody. And, and Ernie has been called the queen of YouTube by so many different channels. And she doesn't think that that's a true assessment. Yo, I was just but, so humbled by, by how many people would come up and talk to me and, and say, Hey, I, I love your channel. I love you. You're this or you're that. Marsha, Bar Marsha Marshberger, she has um, a channel about essential oils and wellness, and then she's got um, Kansas Misfits, you know, and I was talking to her, and and just, just even just that, that first hug, and it was just like so overwhelming just to meet you, and you, you all don't even realize I'm more enamored of you than I think you were of me, and it's just, Probably it's not. it's really it's really humbling just just you know i'm still just flabbergasted that even one of you would, would subscribe to me and actually wants to see what it is that i'm doing or or want to hear me talk or yammer on because sometimes i just wander around going why am i here why 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 am i in this room what was i about to do in the shed i got to turn around and go back out to where i was and try to figure out what it was you know <laughs> you guys want to see that so, and, and what I thought was really interesting about that is that she does not believe that she is as popular on YouTube as she is, but that was just so on Friday night, we, we both had on our YouTube shirts with our channel names on them. And, uh, of course, you know, people, when they read her shirt, they're like, <gasps> people would read my shirt and they're like, Oh, Hey, and I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, I said, Ernie Hatmaker is my wife. And then they're like, <gasps> so <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, that, that that was a lot of fun. Too. I just thank you guys for the love and the comments and the views. And, you know, I mean, there are some people who say, hey, I'm running your playlist. And you guys really don't have to do that. Even, even when we go live and you give the super chats, I mean, I think Richard... Um, Richard, um, Pro Carry Trucker. yes, Pro yeah. Carry Richard, Pro Carry Pro Trucker. Carry Trucker. Yes, I understand yeah. that, but uh, that's how he is in my <laughs> telephone. Pro Carry Richard, and um, yeah, he he doesn't miss a live, even if he has to pull over in his truck. He he never misses one, and he always you know super chats. And I'm telling you, you don't have to. He's always donating gift cards to these giveaways. Yeah, and, he's and, done that three times. Yeah, twice. and. Um, Joe from Average Joe PT and sometimes Joe hadn't posted you know in in a while but now he's back and he's posting you know once a week and he's always never failed to show up and say hey let's you know even if he just does a, a super chat that goes toward another giveaway that that I think it's awesome that you guys just take time out even if you're not even posting yourselves to just come over and and want to give to to the people who are watching the channel um Alex Alex Express um, 
Alex has pressed shorts, I believe, is the, the new name of his channel. And I'm telling you, you guys have been just so faithful and, and loyal. And there's a bunch of you um, in Pedmar and and Lisa Lee that, that don't have channels. And you're faithful to a lot of people. And, of course, who's your daddy? Who can forget you? That's Daryl, by the way. Y'all got some crazy minds. Stan Mac, I mean, I know I'm missing a lot of people. Big Charlie, you you guys that that just pop in and say, hey, I, I really appreciate you. And, and when, when I catch you guys going live or, or popping in a video while I slept, even if I'm not commenting like her healthy home, I'm always watching you people. I am. I'm, I'm always watching because I'm always like floored that that you just stop by you guys are bigger than than what you think you are you really are without you i'd be talking to myself which you know i'm fine with that but it's more fun when <laughs> yeah because i'm not really here <laughs> so but uh anyway i guess to sum it all up um just a big thank you to all of our subscribers for ernie Hatmaker's channel as well as for mine um just you know because you guys are what make this rewarding you know and being able to go to the youtube meetup and meeting all the channels and everything you know that that was just another big you know reward of just getting to know everybody right and uh it was just a lot of fun so um thanks everybody really appreciate it and like i said in the beginning if, if i left a name out which i know i did we, we left out a ton uh, of names yep. and you're not left out of our hearts but honestly this is you know we don't have a list that we're looking at yeah so uh but anyway if i can find that list of all the channels that that attended uh the uh, the prior reunion then i'll try to put that up um but uh like i said just you know thanks guys really appreciate it so is there anything else yeah i just want to give a little shout out to morgan um morgan pops into ridge life's um live streams sometimes we didn't talk about tim i know on purpose because tim talked about tim all through the whole thing so, so why, why okay and with that um i want to go back to doug commander bacon um because he had some t-shirts that were made <laughs> and he showed up on friday night he had his t-shirt on of course he had this jacket on over it so you couldn't see the back and lazy of it. pond farm had one yep lazy pond farm and of course on the back of the shirt it says uh tell us it? about tell, it tim. tell us about it tim <laughs> <laughs> they had it on the back of their shirts and uh so they were they were showing everybody and then covering back up and walking around and then they went and they stood right in front of tim and just started this conversation they had taken their jackets off of course tim couldn't see the back of the shirts and so tim's just you know starting to to be tim right and uh you know everybody else could see the shirts and it was just it was hilarious because it was like an inside joke he didn't know what was going on for a minute and then they both turned around and i gotta say tim was a good sport about it but, uh, Tim's that, that always was, a good sport, yeah. and that's why it's fun to pick on Tim. Yeah, that was fun. So, uh, so yeah, Ridge Life, uh, Tim was there, and of course we had met him previously. Uh, yeah, but twice, we, I've never so. met Morgan, and Morgan pops into the lives, and Morgan likes to hide in public. But yeah, Morgan, we got you. So, I'm out of coffee. Okay. Well, you need to come on with the come on with the coffee. Yeah, come on and was there too. Yeah, yeah, he, he was very there. He was very there. <laughs> um, with that, you guys have other stuff that you want to do, and I appreciate you. You know, this has been a long video, and you didn't even see that much, but I'm going to do my best to compile a list of the channels that signed up for um, the giveaways that were on our table and some of you i know you just <clears throat> signed up just to make the list a little longer come on real matt crocker jared we know that you only signed up because you, you wanted other people to come and help and i appreciate that and with that i'm going to thank you again for watching always because that just it it, it just floors me like i said that even one of you wants to to see and wants to talk to me and wants to say hey in the comments even if you don't stay for the whole video it's just really really cool that that you guys watch us it's awesome 
and I hope that even when YouTube goes that we still have these connections that that we made because that's really that's what it's all about you know making connections making friends and you know helping each other out when you need it so but uh, anyway yeah because honestly I don't know how she feels about it but uh, from my perspective I don't think I'm that exciting or, or interesting but uh, you know I, I've got a whole bunch of uh, subscribers yeah. that uh, you guys apparently think otherwise so thank you very much for that all right well have a good day and i'll see you guys in the comments and you pay attention to the details see you again soon bye